So a neuroendocrine tumor, we'll start off with that, is a particular tumor that's found throughout the body. The thing that's interesting about uh, neuroendocrine tumors is the fact that they can actually start producing certain types of hormones. And depending on what type of hormones they produce, can kind of, that's where these tumors kind of evolve or can be considered a carcinoid tumor. Carcinoid tumors produce specific types of hormones that cause specific type of symptoms. So this is kind of a subclass of a neuroendocrine tumor. These are the individuals that oftentimes present either with a neuroendocrine tumor that's actually metastasized to other parts of their body. Most common place where a neuroendocrine tumor can metastasize to is the liver. And these individuals would be best served at our, in our clinic just because, again, we have a very aggressive approach to these types of tumors. Even though they have metastatic disease within the liver, this still doesn't exclude them from a possible cure. We can oftentimes respect a lot of these uh, neuroendocrine tumors or carcinoid tumors that have metastasized to the liver the uh, multiple ways. And the other thing is not only do we offer a surgical treatment, we off also offer a lot of medical treatments such as uh, certain types of chemotherapy as well as interventional approaches for treatments of these particular tumors. There's various chemotherapies that we can actually use to actually slow their growth and actually suppress a lot of the symptoms that these individuals may have from a carcinoid uh, tumor or a carcinoid syndrome. We can actually offer uh, here uh, patients chemoembolization where these tumors that have metastasized to the liver uh, can be attacked via an interventional approach where they actually um, inject the arteries that supply blood flow to these particular tumors and actually suppress their growth and actually decrease the size of these tumors, which may in time actually allow them to actually be resected. Individuals that may be entirely asymptomatic from their disease but yet have diffuse metastasis within their liver, they can actually become candidates for what we call a staged resection where they have disease throughout their liver. We can actually take out a portion of their liver and then allow the liver to regenerate and then come back at a second operation and actually uh, take out those additional lesions that are found in the contralateral lobe. Again, this provides an uh, excellent way to debulk them of their metastatic disease. These individuals may have a metastatic disease in their liver that is unresectable and if they meet certain criteria they can actually be considered for transplantation if their disease is stable. present early, they're actually pretty much asymptomatic. They can be found on routine imaging uh, or routine colonoscopies where they find a certain lesion within the colon or within the small bowel or they got some sort of uh, routine imaging for some other reason and they found this particular lesion either in the pancreas or in the intestines. The symptoms that a carcinoid tumor produces is primarily kind of flushing, they can have uh, heart arrhythmias, they can have loose stools. They can develop a right upper quadrant pain if they have large uh, tumor burden from a metastatic disease. They can develop uh, obstructive symptoms because the neuroendocrine tumors can actually uh, occlude off the lumens of the intestines. So there's various symptoms that these patients can present with. Our philosophy is to be aggressive with these tumors just so that way we can kind of maintain control of, the, of these particular tumors. What we want to do is provide a comprehensive plan with regards to the long-term management of these individuals because we also recognize the fact that these are slow-growing tumors. So we want to intervene early so that way we prevent a lot of the complications that can be associated with these particular uh, tumors. The thing that's special about this particular clinic is that we actually have a concentration of patients that come and visit with us. So we have a lot of expertise when it comes to this particular types of tumors. Again, these tumors aren't very common outside of this particular institution. There's, again, uh, certain institutions that specialize in this. Not a lot of people actually are accustomed to dealing with these uh, particular tumors and the management of these particular tumors. Um, again, I think that's one of the biggest benefits is that we have patients that come visit us from all over the world, uh, all over the country, 
that uh, come for this particular expertise. But um, we can offer all these particular treatment modalities. We provide a collaborative approach between a surgeon and between a medical oncologist, and we also have colleagues that are both also in interventional radiology and gastroenterology that can provide a com comprehensive approach to their care. These physicians are constantly communicating about their problem, about their particular disease. And so when they come visit with us, they get this comprehensive approach one time at that one visit. They'll see both me, a surgical opinion, as well as uh, my partner, uh, Dr. Graham, uh, provides an uh, oncologic or medical approach to their problem. And again, they'll visit with both of us uh, during their clinic appointment, and uh, we'll provide our final recommendations on how to better manage uh, their uh, neuroendocrine diseases.